All right, y'all, we're getting into Split the Room. It's one of the new games in the Jackbox Party Pack. Uh, this one is very interesting because the core concept of the game is to make a divisive answer, not a funny answer, not a correct answer, something that will be yeah. divisive. So It's essentially, would room. you rather, but you mm -hmm. want to make sure that people don't want to pick all one or all the other. You yep. want to have it be controversial. You want controversial answers, absolutely. Yes. Yes. All right, we're going to get into this thing. <clears throat> We're ready. We got a full room. Let's go. Oh, the the, the numbers have whiskers cute. and ears. They're so oh my gosh. Cute. Meow. Do yeah. not be startled. I am here to guide you as we explore the deepest recesses of your Tell mind. Tell me if you want me to skip. You will build strange and ah. complex worlds using only your no? imagination and mm. your thumbs. A hypothetical situation missing one key part will be transmitted to your device like this one. Ads before online videos have been banished. In their place are 15 second videos of this. They are not skippable. Is life better? There are infinite possibilities you could write in to complete this scenario. <laughs> everybody else will then answer yes or no. If old would you answer yes dancing, or no to that? I would say yes. Old man tap dancing is better than an advertisement. For Absolutely. 15 seconds? That'd be fine with it. For those of you in the as long as there were different videos of old man tap dancing. No, it's a one video. By a majority vote. Yes, even in a nebulous void, democracy is important. <laughs> At the end of the game, the person who creates the most divisive dimensions will win. Got it? Good. Let's now go. let's begin. All let's right. Go. I want to know who Ken is and why his fanny pack is floating around in space. Consider this. Would you rather live in a world where nobody you don't asked know, would you right? rather questions? Or would you rather split the room? Let's do it. Complete the scenario that was okay, sent to your device. Okay, here we go, device. guys. All right. So we're completing scenarios on our phones, y'all. Thanks, Nat. Love you. Everybody follow DBTV. Drop them bears. Oh, this one was so easy. Mm. Mine was so easy that I'm just like, it's not even a brainer. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Ooh, okay, here we go. Well, I guess actually that would be so easy to say yes or no to that I would probably get the least amount of points. I should have <clears throat> thought that through. I feel like I've got a pretty decent one for this crowd. Yeah. Counting on you, crowd. Whoa! Uh, cat puzzle. Whoa! whoa oh, that, that was weird. Was that, was Maybe that the audience? Yeah. Did we finish? Did everybody get in? I think I guess everybody did. You're a teacher judging a science fair. Unbeknownst to them, a child has accidentally discovered a <laughs> cure duck. for this. You're oh. the only adult who's witnessed it. Do you steal the child's project? Whoa! <laughs> That's funny. That's good. I like that. Whew. That's clever. Wait. So it's asking you, would so you steal, you steal yeah. this child? Do you do it? Do you steal it or do you not? Are you a terrible, I'm, horrible person? Are you a good guy? I'm going to go ahead and say this prompt is so much easier than the one that I was given. Because the question, <laughs> really? that, it's, because the question that it's asking of would you steal from a child? Yeah. Putting something mundane before that, a cure for common cold, means that of course it'll split the room. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I thought everybody would say yes. Right? No, why would you yeah. steal from a child, you monsters? No. Well, you can cure the common cold. They the accidentally could... cured it. They yeah, accidentally did the it by discovery. accident. It wasn't, it wasn't them actually making the discovery. You realize that's what they and did. Now, no, they did it on accident. You could give them credit. Okay. Your favorite clothing company offers you a deal. You'll never have to pay for an outfit again. But on the weekends, you must always wear a novelty t-shirt that says this. Oh, I'm so <laughs> oh, are you <laughs> kidding me? Come on. I'll wear that anyways. Oh, I, would, yeah, I, would. I would wear nothing but that t-shirt. Of course I would. Yeah, yeah, I don't room, care about the rest of their yeah, clothing they're going to give me. If this room is split at all, your yeah. you guys are dumbs. Get out of here, you dumbs. The problem is they're going to be mad at me for only wearing that t-shirt. <laughs> I know. They're going to be like, why don't you wear the clothes that we said? Well, no, they never you I never have to pay for an outfit again, and they never will either. So Here's the happy. real question. Do, are we only allowed to wear it on the weekends? Because I'd wear it every day. Right. 
Every day is Saturday. Can we make an Oh Every Hi Mark shirt? Every day is Mark Day. Oh yeah. Yes, I think we oh should. Hi Mark shirt. Oh hi Mark. Oh hi Mark. <laughs> I, I just want Tommy with head like and yeah. it just says Oh hi Mark under it. Yeah, that's basically what it would yeah. be. Everybody on Thank board. you. Thank you. Everybody said Even yes. The Everybody is smart. Too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi. No brainer. If that's your Oh hi Mark if your only answers are Oh hi Mark then that's okay. I, 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 yes, that's Here's okay. What I like to call <laughs> an actor's strife. You are a struggling actor who gets offered a big role in a wildly successful film franchise. Okay. But in the biggest scene of the film, you will be required to do this. Oh God! Oh, oh God! You do it. Relive it, huh? Your most embarrassing moment. That's pretty good. Multiple (sighs) times. I need some guarantees on this one. This is a good one. This is a good one. This one's hard because, like, you're you're going to like it's a successful film, so obviously you're going to get work afterwards but you gotta do this thing multiple times i guess it's like how embarrassing is your most embarrassing moment yeah Mm. like if you do it one time i wouldn't mind doing it 10 times one time's enough everybody knows i'll do it as many times after that well then the question is do they know it's your most embarrassing moment or is this just like you're doing an acting scene it just happens to be the same yeah everybody's on board no no, 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 wow i probably wouldn't do it i would I mean, for me, it's like if I'm a, if I'm an actor, if I've committed myself to that life, I'm gonna I'm gonna embarrass myself. There's worse things you can do. Yeah. Everyone has that friend. Ooh. Everyone has that friend. We oh. all know that good friend. Childhood <coughs> friends. It's a good childhood friend. Excited. He means well, but when he's in big groups, he starts over-explaining this oh. subject. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, is this your question? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? No, it's your you don't good do that. childhood friend. No. But it's your you know good I mean, childhood friend. Yeah, but like, the- time changes us all. Mm-hmm. There are some friends that I knew when I was younger, and I cannot talk to them now because they just. <laughs> Like haven't grown up, or they're just different people. And if this they're is going probably to embarrass where I would draw themselves the line. <laughs> by doing this, I would be like, "I'm saving you the trouble." I'm sorry. That's a really good answer. I like that answer. Yeah. Rick, is this yours? No, no, no that, that, that one was mine. Good job, <laughs> good job. That was a good yeah. one. Ash, I knew I'm the only one that has a <laughs> friendship. Exactly. Thank you, Ash, for understanding that even when your friends are. The worst. You have to. It's good to know I could get away with a lot of shit before Ash calls our friendship. The real over. question you got. Exactly. The real question you got to ask Rick well, is: Have you course. already reached that line? Right. <laughs> oh my God. Healthy family. Your inheritance will mean you don't have to work for the rest of your life. But oh. your irrational father is threatening to cut you out of the will if you don't give up this. <gasps> oh my God. No, I can't. No. Well, I mean, we have. Well, like, that's hold on. Th- th- like. My it's father would die to give me this inheritance, okay, right? Okay, but like, how long? <laughs> well, it could be a legal thing. The moment you touch a video game, it's taken away from you. So I'm gonna say no. But and it says your father is threatening to cut you out of the will if you don't so, give this up. So basically, so means right. you give up if video games until then, right? Until they but, die, right? Well, no. Here's the thing: if it's if he's smart, he'll probably do a thing where he's like he'll because you're obviously wealthy right. enough to do it. You get a right. lawyer to protect right. the money. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no, wow. No, 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 no. All right. I would be poor and happy. That was mine. Ah. Yeah, Rick. I mean, we. It's our job, right? So I, we can't. I could never give up video games. We was, couldn't. But I was yeah, wondering no. about the other people but out there. If you had unlimited money, Thanks. then you don't. Right. Get you wouldn't job. have to work. If I can't play video games, why live? You will receive $2,000 in cash every week for the rest of your life, but under one condition: you have to get a permanent face tattoo that says this every week. Oh no! Oh! Oh! No! Absolutely, Absolutely not! Really? Absolutely. Yeah. Must cover your forehead? Yep. Hell no! Yep. That's a lot of money, but yep. no. I mean, you could use like a uh, makeup to cover yep. that crap. Yep. But that's like makeup constantly. is way cheaper than two thousand bucks. Yep. You would do it? Get a hat, says Ben. Yep. There are ways to deal with a face tattoo. Yeah, but I feel like there's just like you'd want to take the hat off. Eight like, thousand bucks a month. The makeup would smudge. Eight thousand bucks a month. Every time I look in the mirror and I see the word "daddy" written on there, 
that two thousand dollars is not going to wipe away those. It's going to actually when you look in the mirror, it's going to say you dead. Wow, this was a divisive one. That's yeah. a pretty solidly divisive one. Yeah, because yeah. some of us understand. The audience, good, <laughs> good one. Job, good job, audience. Oh my that god, was good. that was good. Face tattoo that said dead. Price Next is the is only daddy and stuff. The ultimate <laughs> ultimatum. Wink. You are Earth's ambassador. Yeah, no, no, no. Not desperate. It's property of daddy. Anyway, from another galaxy has given you an ultimatum. <laughs> Every computer will be wiped out unless you give him this. Ooh. Oh yeah. Every wait. Every it's computer. Like I'm doing like super out, yeah. weird stuff on the internet. Yeah. Yeah, this is more I mean, a question. Like, this is more a question of like, how messed up are you? Yeah, <laughs> unless you're doing like some like super illegal or like morally questionable stuff on yeah. the internet, I think that you'd be fine. Yeah. Every, everybody does, you know. Because some remember, if every weird computer Google search from time to time, if every computer in the world is wiped out, then you will never be able to access the internet. Uh, and the world will, will fall he. into chaos. It'll be apocalyptic chaos. Chaos. chaos? Apocalyptic nonsense will happen. Computers are very important. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, a, that wasn't divisive at well, all. No, that wow. wasn't divisive at all. Ash, good try. It's been hard to make divisive ones. There have been more that have been like unanimous, Get more so than divisive in this. Costumes at dawn. Ben, oh no, not my bank account with forty dollars in it. Sure. I know, right? <laughs> discovered that any move you make affects how things actually went down. Your group is going to reenact this. Do you go rogue and try to change the saving outcome? Saving Private losing at the Oscars. Wait, what? It's yeah, they couldn't fit the whole thing. They wanted to say Saving Private Ryan losing at the Oscars. You're gonna if you reenact it, you can change the fate of that film. Uh, I mean, I get that, but that seems pretty um, inconsequential. You know what I mean? So maybe this is just asking people whether or not they think like, like how do they you feel not about want it. Saving Private Ryan to win an Oscar? I couldn't care less. <laughs> That's not what I'm going to waste my time travel on. Yeah. Or my reenacting. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna go rogue. I'm gonna go do other things. Screw Save a Prior Brian. It was just a movie. Oh, I didn't read this properly. Oh, do you go rogue and try to change the outcome? But like, I don't understand. I'm still darn rogue. Because of the way it's written, it's like they already figured it out. You know? I don't know. I anyway, don't know. like I'm it's a written it's, by it. I think that the way that the person wrote it was incorrect <laughs> for the way that it was structured. That's what I think it was. I didn't want to change. They made time. a confusing answer just to divide us, Let Price. Die. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Let it die. <laughs> if it works, it works. Wizard. Hey! If you throw a stone into a fire for ten seconds, the trend you're thinking of will become popular again. A stranger tosses in a rock and wishes for the return of this. Do you reach into the fire and pull out the stone before it's too late? No. Uh, well, wait. No. Because for true Barney fanatics, he's never left. Okay. He's always in your heart. That's right, Barney. You're still cool with me. Oh, thanks, it's Rick. Barney. Like, unless like Barney is like evil. I love you. You love me. I could sing the whole friggin' song. Like, if you were to say like the return of smoking in restaurants, I'd be like, there you go. Yep. There I'd reach go. in and pull yeah. it out. There's one. Dude, Barney was a big deal in my house. Barney voice is easy, Tail. Barney voice is easy. Wow, two of you would actually reach into the fire and pull it out. Y'all hate Barney that much? Yeah, geez. It's, it's inoffensive. It's about hugs and cleaning up after yourself. Right? That's you it. guys it's hate offensive hugs to and cleaning up. It's offensive to dinosaurs. How is it offensive to dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs. They weren't like that at all. Dude, he's a lovable Rex. You weren't there. How do you know? <laughs> Don't speak for dinosaurs. No, I'm speaking for Barney. He's a lovable. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, tell, oh, I'm telling. Jazz. Okay. I'm telling Jasmine. You can't speak for dinosaurs. There will what be is this? Or can I? Maybe you're a dinosaur. <gasps> Jasmine's a dinosaur. We'll decide what's behind door number two. Oh. Remember, you want to make it as hard of a choice as possible. Oh wow! If you correctly predict a certain player's decision, you'll earn some bonus points. Let's begin. Let's go. Let's so we're gonna. Write an option that you think only some people would choose. Mm. And they don't tell us what the other answer is? No. And so if you guess oh. that the person answering is going to answer your question or the other question, you get bonus points. Oh. 
Well, this sucks. I'll tell mm. you why when mine comes up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at the anime cat. Eh. Nani? Okay. So last time I did this, it took me forever to write my prompt. So I was never able to choose who I think this person would vote for. It's very interesting how they uh, picked that option. <coughs> oh, jeez. This is so difficult. This one is like... Yeah. I'm going to explain why when mine comes up, but yeah. Same. Does yours include people's names? Yes, it does. Okay, that's it the thing for me that makes this so difficult because it's like... It's including screen names of the other subs that are playing yeah. with us. Yeah. And yeah. obviously, we love you guys, but we don't know you. Time's running out. I don't know what. Yeah. On yeah. a personal level. Exactly. So yeah. Somebody's name was Leaf last time we played yeah. this, and it just said, like, you would rather French kiss Leaf. And right. I was like, what does For that mean? Reason, right. Whenever you look at either this player or this thing. You are forced to lock eyes with them for 10 intense minutes. Whom do you avoid eye contact with for the rest of your life? <laughs> 10 minutes. Whom do you avoid eye contact with? Oh my god. Ah, uh, well. Oh my god. This is kind of tough. It's a 50 50. Right? Isn't it like these are incredibly yeah. difficult? Because it's like, what? Poor Tao, Tao, I love you. Tao's like, what? Tao, I love you. I'm sorry. Did I guess Well, them? Teo, I don't want to avoid eye contact with you. But I did get so, the correct prediction. I knew what you would just, do, Drager. I'm a psychic. Just know I got to stare at you for 10 seconds. Teo, I love you. I Wait, whom do you avoid eye contact with the rest of your life? I would want to steal or stare <laughs> Neil Breen in the eyes for 10, 10 minutes. <laughs> right? And then while we're staring at him, we can talk to him. We can be like, can you right. explain your movie to me? I, this is because ridiculous. It seems like Neil Breen's the kind of guy who would stare at you in the Good eyes job, for Ash. 10 minutes anyway. Yeah. We didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, I guess wrong on Ice Chang. Oh, no. Uh, Carson it's Daly. It's always Russell. Who I would, would avoid, avoid staring at Carson contact. Daly. Yeah, that would be really awkward, wouldn't it? I don't yeah. want to look at, at Carson Daly. No. Like, not even just his eyes, just his general shape. Yeah. Oh wow. my god, everybody just wow. liked it. We've got an opinion. Wow, y'all. <laughs> good job, Drager. Wow. Drager. Actually, not a good job. He wanted to no, split. No, he guessed no, Ashes, no, no. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He guessed Ashes. But the devil turns out to be a reasonable guy. <laughs> oh, okay. He gives you two options on how to spend eternity. Okay. Day. Oh, okay. You can either engage in small talk or do this. See, I would rather have oh. this one. Spend eternity in hell. Small talk's hard, though. No, 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 but I'm saying I would rather have gotten this thing. Watch your least favorite movie. Or engage in small talk. I think I'd I rather, rather do, do least for favorite eternity, movie for eternity. I, it's small talk yeah. is hard. Yeah. And could you like do things while you were watching your least favorite movie? You know what I mean? Small talk is hard. I think. Like I'll put like, it this way: even if it was my least favorite movie and I'm watching it for eternity, I will find a way to enjoy it. Small talk. You eventually run out of stuff to, to, to talk. Exactly. About. That's that's more. That's more. Uh, clean the toilet's uh, actually an activity. I would rather clean a toilet than yeah. do small talk. Really? Yeah. For the rest of your life. For yeah. all eternity. Well, yeah. both are bad for eternity. Yeah. Yes. But at least I don't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> no dying. Oh, hey, Azrael. Well, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Moose. Moose. Moose, I know. I'd clean one toilet. Clean one toilet really slowly. Always. Always feel oh, like you have no. to. <laughs> no, I want to engage in that small talk. That I do goes, not want to feel goes, like I constantly have to poop. That goes along with the cleaning toilet. Like, there's a guy who's cleaning what? the toilet for eternity, and then you're like hovering around them, like, no, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> wait, wait. No, 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 I'm fine. Just keep going. No, no, wow. no. Wow. Yeah. Mark feels like he has to poop for eternity. <laughs> but only a little bit, right? Like, just that little bit. I'm fine with that because you can do literally anything else, but you yeah. just always feel like you got to poop. Yeah. I hate that feeling. The mob. You oh. can go by one of two nicknames, <laughs> Baby Toes or this. Which mob nickname do you choose? Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> these are fingers, no are doubt. I like these. These are both great names. Now, hey, if you were to say Butter Toes, I'm already nicknamed. Mark's on board with Butter Toes. <laughs> I already yeah. got that nickname. <laughs> Baby Toes. That's so good. Nice. Ooh, look at that good split. Good job, Jazz. Yeah. Baby Toes. That's such a good mob name. Baby Toes. 
Hey, baby toes, take them out back. Jimmy <laughs> Dumps. He's like the guy. <laughs> Jimmy Dumps. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Now, I think I'd be here, Jimmy Dumps over Baby Toes. Here's two cool <laughs> reasons why. You cut off Baby Toes, that's why you're named Look. Baby Toes. You dump dead bodies, that's why you're named Jimmy Dumps. Dude, yep. ultra split audience. The audience is going to win this whole thing. Daddy's, <laughs> Daddy's boy. boy! You know which one I choose. I I've already got the Daddy's tattoo boy. for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Baby Toes just seems like a weird, like... Like, what would the mob reason be for you called baby toes? I just told you, you're known for cutting off people's baby toes. Yeah. Oh. The one they're baby toes? toes? No, no, all toes. no, they're piggy toes. Like, like your baby toes, you know? Like, that's how you uh, torture people. Yeah. Do I, do I play um, this little piggy goes to the market while I cut them off? It all comes exactly. Down to I this. mean, if you're a creeper like that, yeah. <laughs> hey, kudos. Thank you. Kudos. Whoa. The 11 months. <laughs> So I am who, not why? good at these new games. Koodle says, sir, the, audience, the audience Well done, audience. We knew you would. We knew you would. Great job. What? The audience can win? Yeah. Yep. They put in options they got for the every most single likes. one. And they did w very well on both. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, well, audience, go to jail. Audience. audience, tell yourselves to go to jail. <laughs> good job, audience. Oh, I'm, I'm glad all to right, everyone. There's another That's game like Monster Seeking Monster where the audience will win all the time. Great. Wonderful. No, Ash. That has been Split the Room in Jackbox Party <laughs> Pack 5. Let us know what you guys are thinking of it. Uh, with that, we're going to move on to a different game.